Now, both Covenant and UMC say they're still struggling with emergency room wait times. Both hospitals saying that while COVID-19 cases have gone down, that hasn't, really total, hasn't totally slowed the number of patients coming through the ER doors. You know, KLBK's Grace Moore spoke to hospital leaders today. Grace, do they have a solution to this problem yet? Terry and Matt, both Covenant and UMC have developed a few tactics to make sure that everyone gets the care that they need, but are still struggling to bring down those wait times and leading on other entities for help. The wait times are long and the ER is packed. Wait times at local hospitals have gone down, but only just. Hospitals are still struggling to keep up with the number of patients walking through their doors. We want to get the test going and take care of you. It just Right now we're at capacity, so it's taken a little bit longer. But according to UMC, the number of COVID patients coming to their ER is down by more than half. But still, their wait times sometimes reaching over 18 hours. It seems like the, the people that we're seeing are sicker, so more of them are requiring admission right now. Covenant's main ER also seeing some longer wait times, an issue they say stems from a backlog of beds. Once you have several people that are admitted to the hospital or patients, then that causes the emergency department to hold several patients. And then that causes a, um, a backlog in the lobby. So in order to try and cut down on the wait times, both hospitals develop triage systems, a way to quickly assess the severity of a patient and allow more emergent cases to be seen sooner. Depends on whether or not they fit the criteria. That will depend on how quickly they get seen. Doctors say that typically many cases that come to the ER are not actually emergent and could be helped faster with a general practitioner or at an urgent care. Something that needs a workup, it needs an evaluation, may even need to come to the hospital. So we get the workup started and then you wait. But both ERs say they still plan to help all patients who need them, no matter what. I don't want to deter people from coming in. If you, if you need the care you need, you need the care that you need. Some of those other avenues for care being urgent care clinics or even freestanding ERs. Doctors say that going to either of those can help lessen those long wait times.